The Birimbolo is one of the strongest moves in Jiu Jitsu. The guard player uses a leg entanglement, or a combination of leg entanglements, to end up on the opponent's back. For this video we will study Gabriel Palito Holo. Palito uses a three-stage Birimbolo defense strategy, and he's hit it against some of the best Birimbolo players in the world. His first step is killing the Delahiva hook. After that he will try to extract his leg and if neither of that works he will hide his back by moving away his hips and putting his back on the ground. So let's look at the first one, killing the Delahiva hook. For playing Delahiva on top, Palito uses four different grip combinations, all of their pros and cons, so let's take a look at them. The first one is the double pants grip. The good thing about this grip is that he can neutralize both of the legs and he has a lot of options for toreadors, near side leg drags and it's also one of the best positions to step over the non delahiva leg. The disadvantage of this position is that there's not a lot of pressure. The second one is the near collar and non delahiva leg position. The good thing about this is that there's a lot of pressure. and the elbow can kill the Delahivo, as you see here. Another good thing about this is when you step over the non Delahivo leg, there's a lot of passing options, just like this X pass he shows here. One of the disadvantages of the near collar grip is that there's less mobility and uh, you're quite vulnerable to your opponent lassoing your arm. Now for the far collar and Delahivo leg, also known as the long step grips. The good thing about this one is, especially in Delahiva, is that you can pin your opponent's shoulder and your hand is free to post on the Delahiva hook. Uh, when you step over the non Delahiva leg, a lot of attacking options uh, open up as well, like long steps and knee slides. Uh, these are some of Palito's favorite moves. Here you see a really nice combination of the, the long step with a, a tight knee slide. And stepping out and passing the guard. One of the disadvantages of this is that it's really hard to stuff the non Delahiva leg. The fourth position Gabriel uses is the sleeve and Delahiva leg grip. From here it's really hard to be off balance because you're controlling both the sleeve that would otherwise break your posture and the Delahiva hook. The disadvantage of this position is that there's not a lot of offense. So when the opponent does manage to enter the Birimbolo, a secondary defense comes into play, leg extractions. Palito will use his hand to make his trap leg light and agile, uh, which makes it easier to extract. Let's look at that again. Post his hand, that makes it easy to extract the leg. time and now focus on his leg. Pose his hand so his leg becomes light and as soon as Leva switches the grips he pulls it out. He usually combines it with straight guard passes. Here he posts, takes his leg out and, and immediately toreaders his opponent. Again the hand post facilitates the extraction. He posts his hand, leg becomes light and he passes it to guard. The hand post can also help defending fully locked on warm guard attacks, just like Paolo Miao does here. Palito keeps posting the hand to keep his base and so he can get back to passing. When leg extractions are not available and or the opponent sits him down, the third strategy comes into play, hiding the back. Here Levi grabs his own lapel which avoids the leg extraction, making it really hard for Gabriel to defend the bola. Levi keeps inverting, getting under Palito's base, and Palito decides to lie down. And now he must do two things, hide his back and make distance. He hides his back by uh, putting it on the ground, and he uses his hands and his legs to make uh, space again. Guy frames using his feet to kick out and defend. 
The problem with this one is that uh, hiding your back on the ground makes it uh, quite easy for your opponent to sweep you. Here you leave I get 2 points for just getting up. But Palito shows why it's important to be confident everywhere, as he quickly sweeps Levi and gets back on top. Not being afraid of being on bottom makes it a lot easier to defend Bear and Bolos. Since you can comfortably hide your back on the ground without being afraid of being on bottom, you can just sweep your opponent's back and start passing again. When it is possible however, Palito will go from defending straight into passes. Here's a similar sequence, this time against Paolo Mio. Palito sits down, hides his back, uses his foot to frame and create distance. He comes up, immediately combines it with a step over and his long step grips for the pass. Another sequence, same principles. He's still hiding his back, still making distance. Here Levi does get a little bit closer to the back though. Let's take a look. It forced Palito to frame with his hands, keeping Levi at a distance, hiding his back, framing on the leg and now he ends up in close guard. Let's look at that again. His hand is framing, his back is hidden, Levi jumps for the back, Palito keeps his back hidden, still framing creating distance, he uses his other hand to create distance as well, and here he can get back on top. He uses the same ideas against Felipe Cesar. First he hides his back, then he frames using his hands, and he gets straight into a passing position here. Felipe recovers his guard and immediately combines it with another back attack. This time he goes for a, a matrix like back attack. Again, Palito hides his back, is sitting down, turns straight into the opponent and starts attacking the pass. Here attacking a beautiful long step. Conclusion. What is the key to a good bear and bowler defense? I decided to ask Palito himself. Então, cara, eu acho que o O principal é o quadril, né? Você tem que afastar o teu quadril do quadril do cara, tem que deixar o teu quadril no chão. Não pode deixar o cara grudar, quadril, entrar o quadril dele embaixo do teu, né? So remember, kill the Dela Hivuk, extract the leg, and hide the back. Don't let him get his hips under your hips. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a reaction. Thanks for watching.